reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, get up and head south on the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza, the desert road. So he got up and set out. Now there was an Ethiopian eunuch, a court official of the Candace, that is the queen of the Ethiopians, in charge of her entire treasury, who had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning home. Seated in his chariot, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. The spirit said to Philip, go and join up with that chariot. Philip ran up and heard him reading Isaiah, the prophet, and said, do you understand what you are reading? He replied, how can I unless someone instructs me? So he invited Philip to get in and sit with him. This was the passage, scripture passage he was reading. Like a sheep, he was led to the slaughter, and as a lamb before its shear is silent, so he opened not his mouth. In his humiliation, justice was denied him. Who will tell of his posterity? For his life is taken from the earth. Then the eunuch said to Philip in reply, I beg you, about whom is the prophet saying this? About himself or about someone else? Then Philip opened his mouth and beginning with the scripture passage, he proclaimed Jesus to him. As they traveled along the road, they came to some water and the eunuch said, look, there is water. What is to prevent my being baptized? Then he ordered the chariot to stop. And Philip and the eunuch both went down into the water and he baptized him. When they came out of the water, the spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away and the eunuch saw him no more, but continued on his way rejoicing. Philip came to Azotus and went about proclaiming the good news to all the towns until he reached Caesarea. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Bless our God, you peoples. Loudly sound his praise. He has given life to our souls and has not let our feet slip. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Hear now, all you who fear God, while I declare what he has done for me. 
When I appealed to him in words, praise was on the tip of my tongue. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. <clears throat> Blessed be God who refused me not my prayer or his kindness. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the living bread that came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said, no one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him, and I will raise him on the last day. It is written in the prophets, they shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the father except the one who is from God. He has seen the father. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the deserts, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Friends, we continue in these weeks of the time between Easter and Ascension and Pentecost is really our story. Not only how we came to be the Holy Roman Catholic Church, but also why we are the church that Jesus founded. Each year, the church throughout the readings at Mass walks us through the rhythms of the life of Jesus. And this time is to emphasize, to focus our spotlight, our attention, our thinking on the reality that Jesus created, founded, and built the church. And that Jesus' life, passion, death, and resurrection makes it possible for us to know that our human life has been taken up into heaven alongside God the Father in eternity. This, the ascension of Jesus in a few weeks, begins what the Bible and the Catholic Church has taught for 2,000 years. This begins, in the words of St. Paul, the new creation. We are with God as part of the family of God which reminds us that the church, again, is not a human institution. It is a relationship. It is a living body with Jesus at the head. And no one, and no person, no human agency, or reality, or confusion, or suffering, or illness, can ever stop the will of Jesus Christ continuing to unfold in time and space, here and now. Which returns us to this image, this icon of one of the eyewitnesses of the resurrection of Jesus, Philip the Apostle, encountering a high government official. Again, think of this message, the unfolding of who and what the church is is always inviting newcomers into this relationship with God, this high court official of the government. Think of them as a cabinet position, 
Scholars say that someone who would drive a chariot in these times would be equivalent to owning a Lear jet in this time. Clearly a person of influence and resources. And yet we are invited to see that this secular person has a deep spiritual hunger that is satisfied by turning to the Bible, the Word of God. We do not know why this government official was reading the scriptures, but clearly the book of Acts wants us to see. There he was, in his chariot, not a Jew, reading the scriptures. And then Philip is invited by the angel to go and have a relationship with this person. Do you understand what you're reading? Friends, this is the question the Holy Spirit addresses to you, to me, to the church, always, everywhere. Do we understand the unfolding dynamic of the Holy Spirit through the sacred scriptures? Who is our Philip in our life? Who is helping us rightly apply, interpret, understand the scriptures which themselves Ignorance of the scriptures, as St. Jerome said, is ignorant of the scripture, of the narrative of the church. And so let's, in this coming week, ask ourselves how and when and where do we ask for help understanding the Bible, what it is, where it came from, how it is lived in each mass, the word of God made flesh at this table, who like Philip, helps you, me, and all of us understand the Holy Spirit speaking to us each day in the sacred scriptures. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Let us bring before the loving Father, our prayers as may be best for us. We pray for the Holy Catholic Church. May the grace and love and guidance of the Holy Spirit help her always invite others into her life. We pray to the Lord. For elected government and officials, like the Ethiopian government official in this scripture, May the Holy Spirit help them understand his prophetic message in the sacred scriptures. We pray to the Lord. For all who hunger bodily or spiritually, may God's providence bring them relief, strength, comfort, and hope. We pray to the Lord. For the people of God of St. Vincent Ferrer, may the Holy Scriptures continue to unfold in the Eucharist and make us grow in holiness, we pray to the Lord. For all those who have died, especially Hank Wardman, for whom this Mass is offered, that they may be raised to eternal life and happiness, we pray to the Lord. Father, you are closer to us than we are to ourselves. We ask you to hear and answer us through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. True to the earth and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual food. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we've received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O oh God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers in the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, Lord, but at this time, above all, to laud you more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life. The halls of the kingdom are opened to the faithful, for his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many who are the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Dennis, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let's offer each other a sign of God's peace. Agnus Dei, qui tolles peccata mundi, miserere Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the words, and my soul shall be healed. Christ died for all that those who live may live no longer for themselves, but for him who died for them and is risen. Alleluia. body of Christ. The 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 body of Christ.
us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Make it a great day, everyone. Watch out for the sandblaster out there on the way out of church. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. 